I was sitting there in a cafe, having a cafe and uh, and just, you know, watching the, the world go around. And uh, he just sat down there, started, pulled his book out. Well, not his book, his, um, his notepad. And uh, start start asking me questions about where to go, where, what was the the, the, the town about, and I know what if I had any recommendation to go for. And then we started talking about general things and what he was doing exactly. And and he just ended up telling me he's a poet and likes writing books as well. He he looked at the world in a, in a way that I hadn't seen before. So. Um... You know, and he made me feel fantastic. Because of his quirkiness, he was very... It took me a while to kind of understood what it was about. You know, it was a bit freaky, you know. Uh, because he was just... Um, I don't know. Um, just having this philosophic... Philosophic? Yeah. Philosophical um, mm -hmm. conversations and, you know, it's not really my bag, you know. I'm, can talk about a few things and can talk about the world and things like that, but he would go very deep inside. Well, I was in a reputable place in Knightsbridge, and uh, you know, a few hours to kill, you get shagged basically in this establishment. You, I was going upstairs, he was coming down the stairs, he grinned at me, I looked at him, I thought, mm, he looks a bit odd. I said, uh, so I said to him, What's the woman like then? He said, You'll love it. So then he laughed again, I looked at him and I laughed, I thought, okay, sounds good. Went in, spent my juice, uh, so to speak, came back downstairs, there's a little bar just across the road. And uh, he was sitting there, so I walked over, and he was still sort of, not grinning, but looking at me. Sitting there, he said to me, was that good? And I said, well, yeah, it was fantastic. You know, we had a connection, so to speak. And I probably connection sex. He was... He, he he wasn't he wasn't actually in the show. He, he was one of the, the members of the audience, but uh, I just remember he came every night and he was a big a big fan of mine as as far as I remember. Um, and uh, I just started got talking to him one evening because uh, it just fascinated me how this uh, this gentleman, this uh, a very fine looking gentleman as well as I might add. Um, would come every night just to, just to, you know, I, I approached him and uh, I said, I, I've, I've seen you um, here a lot. Um, how do you fuck? Trees, trees everywhere, trees. I mean, that's, that's one of my favourites. Just because when I was at college, um, that's kind of one of the one of the poems that roots that for us, just for the style of it, you know, it was almost, it was, it was more like a song to us, us guys. I mean, we're into really good songwriters and it kind of had a sort of a crossover appeal to us, the way it was sort of short and very sort of abrupt, so, yeah, we used to, we used to take notes of that. My favourite poem of Evelyn's um, would be uh, Trees, Trees, Everywhere Trees. Um, the reason being, um, it, it's the one of his poems that reminds me the most of um, certain times that we had together. Um, Evelyn, Evelyn uh, used to take me, take, take me to some woods um, near his house. It's got to be the righteous man, righteous man. You know the way he described the whole caravan it was just it was just stunning you know you were there in the caravan really you know touched me that one righteous man righteous man hey i've told away your caravan to pastures green and pastures new i've changed the lock and sprayed it blue yellow pink and purple 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 i love that word in a way you could never understand righteous man that's why i told away your caravan to this place Get out of my face! It would have to be Baggage Carousel Speak. Uh, it's a poem that uh, literally speaks to me about the way Evelyn lived his life. Um, the gypsy nomad in him, the, uh, the whole carousel, the colours, the vibrancy, the swinging around that obviously he went on in his life. Um, 
it's a poem that when I read it now myself after the um, accident, then when I read it now, uh, it comes back to me and it's almost like I'm actually kind of touching the inside of him. Baggage Carousel Speak is the one I, I kind of... It's Baggage Carousel Speak. I don't know, I just like the use of language in that one. And it's, um, I like the title, I think it's quite funny. Are we rolling, Jonathan? Thank you. 